If you have been making chin chin at home before, this very chin chin recipe you're about to watch is a must try for everyone. It is super perfect, crunchy, delicious, and very, very easy. Like I've said, a must try. Don't let me talk much. Let's get it started. What you can see in this bowl is the all purpose flour I'll be using and what I'm pouring on top of it now is sugar what I have in my hand that you can see now is baking powder please for the exact measurement used check the description box and I'll be using vanilla sugar feel free to use vanilla extracts yet it is just an optional but I'm using it and I'm going to add salt into this now give it a good mix please make sure you watch this up to the end for you not to mix any important part from this all right now mix those dry ingredients together it's now time to add butter into it the butter is just normal room temperature and it's now time to just uh, mix this together and after that i had an egg into it i'm just going to mix it together again give it a good mix and i'll be mixing this with milk it's optional feel free to use water but if you have milk at home why not try it with milk be adding it bit by bit and yes you're adding it keep mixing shout out to you all my subscribers all you my returning subscribers my friends on youtube i love you all thanks for your support after mixing i'm just going to keep it for just three to five minutes for it to rest after that i flour my work surface and i cut part of the dough it's now time to roll it out okay so i just coated the back with some flour and i'm rolling it out now this is very good Get your pizza cutter. It makes it a lot easier. All right. So now cut it to your desired sizes. Please, lovelies, as you're watching, remember to press like. Remember to share, comment. Let me know where you're watching from. You'll be the next one on my shout out. So you can see what I'm doing now. That's the size how I want it to be. You can make it this cube size. I'll give it another shape all right so i just sprinkle some flour on top of it and i'm just going to pack all this together it's now ready to be fried so i'm just going to pack it save this flour a bit out of it and what i'm pouring into this pot is vegetable oil heat up the vegetable oil and start frying on medium heat as you're frying, you need to be stirring it occasionally. All right, you just be turning it for it to be evenly. All right, you will see it changing color from one golden color to another. You can see how it looks now, and it's going to move to this. This is how I love it. I love it golden brown. It's now time to take it out of the oil pour it on top of your kitchen towel this kitchen paper is very good it's going to take out any excess oil from it and lovelies tra -la -la, this is what you're going to have this is super easy and tastes super delicious i made this for my colleagues and everyone loved it a must try thanks for watching